Hi everybody, my name is Ashton Waltrip. I am the high school advisor here at WSU Tech. And what we're doing today is you guys are going to watch this video which is going to serve as your mandatory block meeting orientation. Um, you got an email with this video that also came with a quiz. The quiz is going to serve as your attendance. So this watching this video, attending this meeting is actually mandatory. So we need you guys to take that quiz to make sure that we know that you viewed it. And then you also received a link to our virtual campus tours. Since we're not there in person right now, um, we still want you guys to be able to see what your programs look like, what your labs look like. So view those campus tours videos so that you can kind of get an idea of what to expect on the first day. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the expectations through WSU Tech as far as this program is concerned. And then after my video, we'll jump you over to a video from your instructors which will talk a little bit more specifics about your individual classes. So I'm gonna scooch over to share my screen so you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and present this. I'm gonna make this one smaller. Okay, so first things first, just a little bit about us at WSU Tech. So we deliver high tech, high wage, high demand career pipelines for students. As you'll see in our virtual tours, our labs are very modern, very up-to-date because we want to make sure that we have everything you guys need to be successful when you go to the industry. We have the old stuff all the way to the new stuff to make sure that no matter where you go to work, you are prepared. We offer low student to instructor ratios, meaning that you're not in a big lecture hall full of 50 to 100 students, it's you, maybe 30, 35 students very small number so that you feel a lot more comfortable speaking to your instructor, raising your hand in class, asking questions. We want you to feel comfy in your environment. And lastly, our programs are developed and implemented in collaboration with local employers. So not only are we training you on the most high tech, up to date technology we have, but we're doing it in correspondence with what we know employers want. So we have four different campuses. On your schedule that you received, one of the columns on the far right is going to tell you the code to your class. There's a little key up at the top as well, so you can make sure that you know where you're going. We have our NCAT campus. This is our National Center for Aviation Training campus at 4004 North Web Road. This campus will have our Aviation Maintenance Technology program, also known as AMP, our CATIA program, Machining, Robotics, and Electronics. WSU South is at 3821 East Harry. As far as our block programs are concerned, this will house our interior design and police science programs, but it also is the house to our general education classes. Next, we have our city center campus, which is at 301 South Grove. This campus has the most high school programs out of all of them. We have auto service technology, alternative fuels, construction, Climate and Energy Control Technologies, also known as HVAC, Information Technology Systems, and then we have our high school labs for our composites, sheet metal, and welding programs. Lastly, we have our WSU Tech Old Town Campus, which is at 213 North Mead, and this houses our healthcare programs. So now we're gonna move on to talk more specifically about your programs. So books. The purchase of your textbooks is the responsibility of the student. Um, there are a couple exceptions to this where some districts will cover the cost of your books. So this is USD 259 and USD 261. Um, you guys are provided books through your high school. Some of them are with rental fees. However, USD 259 does not provide the access code books. Um, if you go to one of those school districts, speak with your high school counselors so you can get access to those books that they have. Most books are gonna be purchased through our WSU Shocker store. Access Now books are automatically added to your Blackboard account and they show up on your WSU Tech bill. If you guys have questions about books, your high school counselors know how to navigate our book website. And then you can also reach out to us for questions as well so we can make sure that you have those ready for the first day of class. Next, we're gonna talk about attendance. So attendance is mandatory, not negotiable, you need to go to class. WSU Tech does not follow your high school schedule. So there's gonna be days where you might be off of high school for in-service or conferences, but WSU Tech will still have classes. 
you have access to our WSC Tech academic calendar. You also have a class schedule that comes with your specific program. And you will need to make sure that you're following that so that you don't accidentally miss a day of school at WSU Tech because you thought that since the high school is closed, so are we. If you plan to be absent, whether you're sick or you have an appointment, whatever it may be, you need to contact your own instructor. Um, usually, you know, you call your high school and you're just like, hey, I'm sick, I can't come into school today. But your high school does not reach out to us you have to reach out to us. Um, you need to reach out to your instructor specifically. Most of your instructors are going to give you their cell phone number, their, they have, or they have their office number forwarded to their cell phone. If it's seven o'clock in the morning and you know you're not gonna make it to class at eight o'clock, don't be shy thinking that, oh, it's too early to text them or call them. I promise you they're awake. Send them a message and let them know that you will not be there. Otherwise, it is an unexcused absence. We are an attendance taking school absences actually can cause you to be dropped from a program and dropped from the classes. So that kind of leads me to the consequences of this. So like I said, you can be dropped from courses, but being dropped from courses doesn't just have repercussions at WSU Tech. These classes that you're taking most likely are covering your elective credits at your high school. So if you drop a class here, it counts as an F on your high school transcript. If you need those classes to graduate, then you might not be graduating high school. Also, you have, you'll get a GPA with WSU Tech, and your GPA is important to applying to other colleges in the future as a transfer student or as a new student. If you're trying to send classes over there or you're trying to use financial aid, if you have a bad GPA because you didn't come to school or you didn't take it seriously, you didn't show up, that can affect you getting into college later and getting financial aid later. So we're gonna talk about how you can actually drop a class that won't be this huge negative thing that I just mentioned. So first thing you need to do is talk to your instructor. If you're thinking about dropping your class because you're not comfortable doing something, you don't understand a topic, whatever it may be, there's most likely somebody who can help you out. So just start by talking to your instructor and seeing what we can do for you. The second step is that you have to speak to your high school counselor before the withdrawal date. So your syllabus is what you will get on your Blackboard account saying all the details about your class. It's gonna tell you where the class is held, what to expect, code of conduct, all things like that. It's also gonna tell you the withdrawal date. This withdrawal date basically means that you have until that day to drop the class. And if you try to drop the class after that date, I can't do it and you'll just get the grade that you get. So before that date, which is written in your syllabus, you need to talk to your high school counselor. WSU Tech will not drop you from a class or a program without your counselor's approval. That is very important. You can't just come over and say, I wanna drop this class and I'm not, gonna sit, I'm not just gonna do it until I can talk to your high school counselor because we want to make sure that this isn't going to affect your high school graduation. We don't wanna drop a class and then all of a sudden you can't graduate high school. There's also a, the idea of some of our classes are progressive. So say you want to drop this very first class that you have, because you're gonna get a bad grade, but you wanna continue on through the rest of the semester, some of our classes won't let you do that. So you'll have to drop the entire semester. Um, after you've talked to your high school counselors, they know how to send me the paperwork to drop you, or they will ask me for that paperwork. You can also find it on your student account. So you're gonna fill out the appropriate paperwork and then you're gonna check with WSU Tech that all the forms are completed and double check that everything is good to go with your high school. Grades. So college level courses require a letter grade of a C or higher to pass a course. This might be different than what you have at your high school. So just keep that in mind. You need a letter grade of a C or higher to pass a course. Bad grades, like I said before, can affect your future financial aid and future college acceptance as well as your high school graduation. And remember that these classes are most likely covering your elective credits at your high school. So if you get a bad grade here, you get a bad grade as an elective credit on your high school transcript, like I said, could affect graduation. Also, grades are reported to your high school twice a semester. We will send a midterm report and we will send a final grade report for fall and for spring. There's also the opportunity for your counselors to email us and request a grade check 
in the middle of the semester or whenever they choose if they want to check up on you at other points in time. Couple expectations. If you are having issues in class, it is up to the student, not the parent, to communicate that with your instructor or your WSU Tech representatives. Secondly, books must be purchased on the first day of class. We come into class and we have three hour time frames that you are here. If you do not have your book on that first day, that's three hours of class that you're already behind. Then that just adds up and adds up throughout the rest of the week until you get your book. Those books need to be purchased and in your hand on your desk on the first day of class. The WSU Tech Student Code of Conduct must be followed at all points in time or students may be removed from their program. This code of conduct can be found on your MyWSU Tech student portal. Communication is a huge one. I, I can't bring this up enough. If you have a question or a concern, you need to ask somebody. You can email me, you can email anyone in the high school department. If you go to the wsutech.edu website, there's a tab just for high school right there in the middle. If you click that, you can scroll down and there's actually pictures of us. You guys will see us around on campus. You'll see us frequently. We're always around. Stop us and talk to us. Go to that website, find our picture and email us. Go ask your instructor for help, ask your counselors for help. We can't help you with your issues you're having in class or with another student unless you talk to us. Next, disability services. If you are interested in utilizing our disability services, Jennifer Stanier's information is right down there. It is best to send her an email because she does have some paperwork that she will need you to fill out. So it's just much easier. Send her an email and she'll shoot you back with the paperwork. The important part about this is that students must be self-advocating. If you have an IEP or a 504 plan at your high school, we're not, we don't get that information. You have to tell us that you want to utilize these services. And Jennifer's information is right there. She's very responsive. She's amazing. Um, another thing to consider is you cannot expect everything that's on your IEP or 504 plan to transition to the college setting. So come in with an open mind and we'll do what we can. Um, and accommodation plans need to be set in advance before the beginning of the semester. So Everything needs to be planned before that first day of class because in a lot of situations, especially with classes that have a state test or a certification test, we have to have those plans in place before that test shows up. So before the beginning of the semester, you need to contact Jennifer Stanier. You can also find more information on disability services at our wscutech.edu website. There is a disability services tab. So next, I'm gonna shoot you over to a short video from your instructor. Remember that you're also required to complete a short quiz to count as your attendance at this meeting. The quiz link can be found in your email along with the link to our virtual campus tours if you'd like to view your labs. We wish you the best of luck this semester and we look forward to seeing you on campus soon.